Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we're testing every mask in the world on Amazon, India, and in my mailbox. That's right, user submission time. Very excited. So, got this from David. I won't say your last name just in case there's some sort of, uh, you know, hiding from the mafia thing going on. I don't want to call you out. Got a nice letter though on the back, which I'll read. Sir, I didn't see where these had been tested on your website. Bought off Amazon. Thank you for taking the time from your busy day. David from Wisconsin. Well, thank you, David. We will test these. Powcom, I've heard of this brand. I've not tested them. Um, so I'm very excited to. Uh, if I look on Amazon, they are there and you can get them. And they're claiming 95% filtration efficiency right there in the dang title. So. Let's see if it meets that. Switch to my box cam here. Um, so notice before we're doing the, uh, that's nice. Comes like in a little sealed dealy here. Um, we're doing a different setup uh, because you test KN95s and N95s a little bit differently. Um, and so we have this little device that we created here so that we don't have to use beeswax every time yes beeswax that's actually how they test n95 masks uh, over at tsi but not here nope right, let's put it in the clamp but the results should be almost exactly the same as uh before all right so let's get them going all right the pfe machine particulate filtration efficiency machine you want to find out more about how this works. Um, check out the link and it's a little bit different link because we're talking about how our setup is a little bit different. Um, so the first thing we're gonna look at is airflow resistance. It's gonna be a lot higher for an N95. This is actually, it's pretty good, 125, before getting too much into it. You like the drama here? Let's look at, let's look again at the listing. So again, I didn't buy these. David from Wisconsin, if you can trust David, I, I think I can, I don't know, um, but you decide. Uh, they're definitely claiming 95% uh, efficiency. Uh, look at this. 10 tests by the uh, NPPPTL. Uh, wow, that's, um, that's a legit. And they're, uh, they're actually saying that it's reaching uh, 98 to 99% uh, filtration. Well, here we go. Here are their test results, flow rate 85 liters. This is exactly the test that we're doing here. Uh, and we're using salt, which is a little bit different uh, than our surgical mass tests. So, all right, they're saying 99%. We shall see, Powcom, we shall see. All right, let's look at the bag on this. Powcom, pow, pow, pow. So, um, comes individually sealed inside of this. Look at that right there. Particulate filtration efficiency, 95%. That's like the largest I have ever <laughs> seen. I like the, the design of it. It looks real slick. And it's got the ear loops where if it was an N95, um, it would be a head tie instead of an ear loop. I like this. This looks like, um, that's ink. So they're not using, it's not an inkjet. They're using ink and stamping that on there. And they're showing the GB2626. 2006, what that is, that is the Chinese standard for KN95, which is a, um, the difference, the reason why I don't love the KN95 standard is because that's a self uh, standard. Like anybody can just say that they've done the test themselves and it passes. Let's try this. Interesting, there's something going on in China. I don't know what it is, but it's this smell. Um, I'm gonna call this Chinese plastic. That's what it smells like. Like literally, I've tested what, hundreds, two, three, 400 masks? Uh, and every single one of them smells like Chinese plastic. This, it's this smell. I mean, it's not horrible. Like it's not a terrible, like it's not, that's not a derogatory <laughs> phrase or not meant to be. Um, but it is interesting that they all have this same plastic smell. Very weird. Uh, the fit is really freaking good on this. And actually like, this does not look terrible. This is actually like a pretty good looking mask. Um, and it like, this ear loop's super soft, pretty good. Let's test them out. It's pretty good, yeah. The thing about these, these are a lot more expensive. So let me see. So let's see. How many do you get for this? 20 pack? Oh, that's actually pretty. That's so $1.10, $1.20 each. But for $1.20 each, like, yeah, that's not very good. So I'm going to call them out on that a little bit. 
Um, you, for paying that much per, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna fall off on your face, but, um, and I, I destroyed every single one, David. All of them that you sent me. Maybe David. Conspiratorial, yes, but maybe David pre-stretched them because he wanted them to do poorly. I doubt that. All right, but does any of that matter if they're not meeting their claims? Now remember, they're saying 95% plus. Oof. But then on the listing, they're saying, we're talking 99% here. So what is, what is it saying? What is it saying? Let's check it out. Nice work, Palcom. Got to give it to you. Efficiency, 99.826. 99.826, pretty good breathability. Pretty good mask. Got a little bit of that smell. Ear loops, not ideal, but like good price. Delivered, $26 for 20 masks. Or uh, packed in what, packs of five? Not bad, pretty good mask. All right, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you, David from Wisconsin for sending that. Uh, I, I really do appreciate that. Wait, oh wow, this is really embarrassing. I've been saying Wisconsin this whole time. It's not Wisconsin. Oh man, it's a good thing I caught that. David would have been, I would have gotten an angry email because he's from West Virginia, which is a different state. Totally different state, different culture. Wow, way off. I was, my apologies, David. Uh, I like West Virginia quite a bit, actually, so. Next time I'm there, let's hook up. All right, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you on the next test.